Hey everybody, and it's Kelly. I'm back with another layout, and I'm using more of the crepe paper here in their collection. Again, it's one of the newest collections that I have. So I'm going to use that paper with all of those phrases on it, and you could cut that apart, but I'm going to use it as my background. That paper, the black and white phrase paper, is called City Views. And then I'm going to mount my photos here on this aqua paper, and that it's it's a map actually kind of a loose map there and that paper is from the crepe paper here in their collection and that paper is called scenic view so i have my two photos that i'm going to mount on there and i'm using up some ephemera from a trip last fall to arizona that is actually the receipt for our rental car for the week and i kind of like including things like that because you know it gives me dates um, it gives me prices that we paid for things. It gives me where I was. So just some nice little sort of, um, you know, ephemera things to look back on. You know, it makes, I think it makes your scrapbook more interesting. It tells more of the story. All right. So I have that down. I'm kind of trying to figure out, um, what else to do with this layout and one of the things that I think I'm going to do is I want to put the title on this aqua paper but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that so before I cut it and crop it I kind of need to know what my alpha is going to be so I was just playing around a little bit there I was looking at that um, those Chamel phrases and that wasn't it and then I went back and found this pink alphabet it's a foam alphabet and that is from um, American Crafts it's the thickers in June bug and it's the salmon color so I really like this but it's a very very bright pink so you have to have just the right layout for it and I happen to I'm on the far right there in the little selfie um, that I took actually and I have a bright pink shirt on that these this alpha matches perfectly so I'm going to use that on this. So I'll just, I'm just using my wax paper because I'm not quite sure where this is going to be on the layout. So I'm just going to play around with it to figure out where it will fit the best. And the layout is going to be titled Driving the Bus. And we had, um, let me think, there were, I'm trying to remember how many of us there were. There were actually seven of us. There are not seven of us in this photo, but there were seven of us um, on this trip. And so we rented this huge vehicle and um, I drove it. And I just kept talking about how what a big bus it was. So we were parked at a like tourist lookout. So I took a picture of the vehicle and then um, I was not driving when I took the picture of all of us in the bus. Um, but uh, we were stopped at a stop sign um, in the middle of nowhere, literally. And so I just took that photo to document how crazy large this vehicle was. I mean, I, we went to a, a shopping mall complex and we went to a, tried to park it. You couldn't park it on the street or I couldn't because it was so big. And we actually drove to the top of the ramp that they had there just because I was afraid to try to park it anywhere else. And the girls were great. They said, nope, we totally get it. All right, so now I have the title down. And now I'm looking at what I want to use. So I found that Explore ephemera. I found that like little film strip ephemera. And that all comes from the, or die cuts, that all comes from the ephemera pack from the Crate Paper here in their collection. And then I have that um, journaling card there that is also from the ephemera pack from here and there. I grabbed the puffy stickers there, was thinking about perhaps using one of those. And now I also have the flare badges, all of this from here and there. And then one of the die cuts from that ephemera collection is that camera. And I really like that piece. Since I'm taking a selfie, that was appropriate. And then I saw that flare badge that said travel life. And I like that, um, it's bright yellow because there's a little bright yellow in the top of that little film strip piece. So that yellow won't stand out so much then. 
All right, then I found that sticker and that sticker there says, here we go. And that is from the here and there stickers. I just pop that up on a little bit of wax paper so I can move it around if I decide I don't want it there. And then I decided I wanted to ink uh, the paper here so that it didn't totally disappear or didn't end so abruptly because it's that line of the black paper makes it look like it's ending very abruptly. And there I am inking and that's my gray flannel um, ink, the Memento Dewdrop gray flannel. All right, and Dangerous, I should have the cover on for that ink. And so I inked that. I'm inking the edges of all the die cuts as well. And I'm liking how that looks. There, I put my cover on. Okay, so I like how this cluster looks. And one of the things I really like about this is there's so much white in that receipt on the left side. So I used the white of the camera and the white of that um, little photo strip or film strip there to balance the white from left to right. So those are the kinds of things you want to think about. Otherwise, your eye would have been drawn just to the white in that. So now I decided I definitely want to use that Travel Life Flare badge from the Here and There collection. And I take the uh, foam dots off the back and just put a, um, a glue dot on the back. I don't, they're already pretty dimensional. I don't want any more. So now I'm thinking I want another something very dimensional up there and the flare would make sense. In the meantime, I looked at my stickers from the Here and There collection and they had that yellow sticker on there and it says Wayfarer Travel Club. So I decided to put that at the top as just a little bit of a layering element to get some more yellow into that cluster there. So now I have the yellow in this three spots to kind of lead your eye through the layout. And then I chose that um, wood vacay flare badge there. like the way that looks and then there's a little bit of rose gold on that camera so I found that phrase phrase from the sticker sheet from here and there and it says today I'm a tourist because we were a tourist this day we were traveling around um, looking at the desert one of my friends had never been in a desert before so we drove out of um, Sedona where we were staying and drove into the desert for her so she could see it everybody else had been to the desert but she hadn't and it's beautiful so as many times as I've been to Arizona I was happy to do that uh, there I have that little um, kind of navy blue label and that is from the here and there sticker sheet and then I found that little blue heart and I added that up to the top and so the reason I did that is there's so much blue in that sky there I thought that kind of tied that in plus there's some blue in that strip as well that photo strip as well and I it's a photo strip but it's a photo strip of like the views out an airplane window would be the best way to describe what that really kind of looks like now I need to complete my title. I need the word driving in there somewhere. Everything else is, is really basically done. I'm liking how that top cluster is laying across the top, just kind of uh, working with the horizontal line as well. But then I have the two flare badges in those clusters to kind of break up all the lines because I have a vertical line with the right cluster and with the top cluster I have a horizontal line but the flare badges kind of break you out of the line which is nice. So I found these mini letter stickers letter stickers from my little shoe box. It's the mini alphabet stickers in blush. I'm going to use those to add the word uh, driving to the driving the bus title there. And I'm just I'm putting these on upside down just to get them uh, sitting the way I want them to. I'm just lining them up with the edge of that receipt there. And th this um, sheet has both uh, capital and um, small letters. So I'm just kind of trying trying to decide and in different fonts. So I'm just mixing those fonts. All right, everybody, here is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. 
Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye!